that's my lens ball. I've had this lens ball for quite some time, but I've never used it. I got it for free, just paid for the shipping of it. And it's a small lens ball, as you can see. But in this week's video, I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm gonna use this lens ball. I'm gonna see what I can do using photography. And if you keep watching until the end, I'll launch a photo contest that you can enter in. So keep watching. This week's video is brought to you by the beautiful Norwegian nature. Mountains, fjell and fjords. And it is just beautiful, isn't it? Like I said, I'm not a photographer. My main passion is videography. And the company that me and my buddy Christian is running, he is the photographer, I'm the videographer. So we fulfill each other. The other day, me and Christian, we went on a road trip, just a random road trip. Nothing was planned, just to take some video and photos. I never really introduced you to my business partner, Christian. So today we are going to a photo shoot or a video shoot. I don't know, we haven't planned anything. So we'll see how it turns out. That was actually going to be this week's video, that road trip, but we didn't have anything at the agenda. We just drove randomly, found some good places. And there he is. So that's him, that's Christian. Hello, hey. I'm Christian. What do you do? <sighs> I uh, do photo, uh, for very good. <laughs> photography? Yes, I do photography. Photography in the landscape. Landscape. Landscape photo. So I didn't have any specific topic that the video was going to be about. We don't have anything planned, so we just have to see how it goes today. Uh, the weather forecast said it was going to be sunny outside, but I can't see the sun anywhere just yet so but the blue sky but there is a blue sky yes there is so Christian thinks he's found a really good spot to shoot some pictures so uh, we'll see what he can do and with a broken uh, screen and some sunlight it's not easy to see what the picture look like but I think it's looking very good all the way over there beautiful mountains I will hopefully my drone here smooth that's a nice landing you can see here to pack this uh, good uh, thing and uh, drone up take down this 
in here. Flip them inside. And flip those like this. Pocket size. And that's a DJI Mavic Air. Air? Yes. Next place. Next place. Next place. At the end of the day, uh, my buddy Christian brought out his lens ball and he took some photos with the, the lens ball. And hold on, near that you said hockey. Ta da! <laughs> mirror, mirror, underwater. As I have my own lens ball, I thought today's video is going to be about taking photos with a lens ball from one who's not a photographer or not especially good at photography. So it will be interesting to see how it turns out. And I thought I'd bring you along. And at the end of the video, I want to launch a contest that I think you should enter in. But more about that later. So this is my lens ball. It's not that very big. I got it for free, I just paid for shipping, some kind of Instagram commercial thing that uh, offered freelance balls, you just pay for shipping. I don't know what they make from it, but anyway, I got the lens ball and yeah, let's see what we can do with it today. Now we have this beautiful view right out there, I don't see, too sunny, yeah, right out there. I thought I use this rock right here, I'm gonna place the lens ball on this rock I'm gonna stand right beside it and take a photo of this view using my Canon M6 Mark II. I'm filming on the M50 by the way and when I'm taking these photos I'm taking a JPEG and I'm also taking a raw photo so I have the camera on automatic so that the JPEG turns out like the JPEG will turn out with the camera thinking for itself but I also have the raw file so I can edit the photo afterwards if I want to do that. But I'm choosing to shoot the photos in this video using the auto settings on the camera so that if you want to try this at home and you don't have any photography experience, you can use the auto function on your camera and maybe you can get some good results with that too. Okay, since I'm using the auto function on the camera. I don't have any say in what kind of shutter speed I'm using. I don't get to choose the aperture. I don't get to choose the ISO. So the camera is doing all those functions for me. But what I can choose is the focal length on the camera. I'm using the kit lens on the camera, the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens that comes with the Canon M6 Mark II and the M50. I'm placing myself a little bit away from the lens ball and I'm using a focal length of 35 millimeters. Uh, what I do understand using the lens ball is that you need to have the focus inside of the lens ball. I'm gonna take a quick photo now. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so what I did, the first one I took, I had the focus on the upside of the lens ball, then I changed the focus to the bottom of the lens ball, and I think that did the trick. I think I got the focus nailed. I think that looked good. <laughs> what do you think? I wonder if I can put myself inside of the lens ball and take a photo with it. Let's see, how are we gonna do that? <clears throat> so I'm holding up the lens ball. <clears throat> I can see myself inside of the lens ball and I think that actually looks quite good. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna ah, have myself this way. I think that looked good too. <coughs> but we'll see when we get home where we can watch the photos. Okay, I have the view inside of the ball. Maybe I should get something else inside of the ball. Maybe I should mm, get some some kind of object. I don't know, what can that be? There's just branches and grass and 
snow. I actually don't have the necessary shoes to get up here. I'm soaking wet, 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 wet. I had to walk in with these shoes and I'm soaking wet. The car is just 50 meters away, but I was up to my knees in snow, rotten snow, so yeah. But what can I use? Maybe I can use something in my photo gear. Maybe I can take a lens. Yeah, I'm gonna use my Nifty 50. Yeah, I'm gonna use my Nifty 50. So I'm gonna have my Nifty 50 on this rock. And I'm gonna put the lens ball on this rock over here. Hopefully it will stand still. Now I'm gonna try and get the Nifty 50 inside of the lens ball. We'll see how it goes. I think that turned out okay. I'm not completely satisfied with it, but I think it turned out okay. I want to launch a contest. I know, my channel is not a big channel. I have 200 and, oh, let me see. I'm gonna get the real time subscriber account. Right now, I have 299 subscribers on this channel. I know not everyone is watching my videos. Anyway, I want to try and launch a contest. Just because the times that we're in, people are getting bored. And if you have a camera, you can also use your phone. I want to launch a contest. But it does require that you have a lens ball. So I, I, if you don't own a lens ball, I bet you that eBay or Alibaba Express or Wish or any something like that has cheap lens balls available. So if you have the money for it, order one there. If you have one already, good for you. But if you don't have one and you're not interested in buying one, maybe you know somebody that you can borrow one from. Anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to take your camera, you can use your phone also, take your camera and your lens ball, go outside, I know there is social distancing, so find somewhere that you are alone and just get creative. Try and take some photos using the lens ball. And what I want you to do, I want you to pick the best one you got and I want you to post it on Instagram. And I want you to use the hashtag lensballphotocreativity. That's hashtag lensballphotocreativity. And if I get more than, let's say 20 people posting a photo with the lens ball with that hashtag, then I will make a video and I will pick my top five photos and I will give you a shout out. Even though I have a small channel, I only have 299 subscribers, but I will give you a shout out on the channel and it would be fun. I think that would be fun. And if you're bored, it will be something that you can do to get the time going. So thank you for watching this video. I hope some of you actually did. If you're new to my channel, I usually talk about videography, filmmaking, tech gear, cameras, stuff like that. So if you like that kind of topics, please subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button down below, and also click the bell icon if you like this video and you like the kind of content that I do, then you will get a notification every time I come out with a new video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really, really appreciate every one of you. And please give me a comment in the comment section down below. Just say hi, then I will say hi back. And if you have any questions, fire away. I'll try and answer them as good as I can. And if not, that also is the point of this channel. I hope I can grow this channel into a big community where people can help each other. And if you have a question, if it comes to videography, photography, tech gear, cameras, maybe if I don't have the answer to your question, maybe some of the other viewers have it. So please, Give me a comment in the comment section down below. That would be really appreciated. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That also would be appreciated. And yeah, that's this week's video. So <laughs> I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.
So, the rotten snow that I was talking about, this is it. I'm soaking wet. The what the what the what? Oh. Uh. oh, that's cold. Oh, shite, that's cold. Oh. Oh. What? 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 I could probably, I could probably just turn this and the water would fall out. Christ, that was wet. But that's beautiful, right? <laughs> anyway, that's Norwegian nature for you. You don't have to go that far away from the road even to, to get this kind of view. If you drive like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes out of Ferd Centrum, then you get this kind of view, this kind of nature, mountains, sun. Just look at that. If you have skis and you like that kind of stuff, this is just beautiful landscape to be in. So, come visit Norway. It's really beautiful, especially here on the west coast, west side of Norway. Third, specifically. I mean, it's not like this is the most beautiful place in the whole wide world, but it is beautiful. Bye.